One of the new tools that MicroStation now provides uh, off their bulletin board or on a CD in a program they call the CSP is a tool called the uh, uh, View Control Commands. Now, when you place this particular file, it is a file name, viewctrl.ma, which is an MDL program. You'll normally put that in under a U-Station as needed uh, or MDL sys as needed subdirectory. But because it's not really a part of MicroStation or we haven't loaded it uh, directly, we're going to have to type this manually. So at this point, if you copy the file in the proper directory, you would normally type in MDL load and you can put the name of the file, which in this case is view CTR CTRL for view control. We do an enter and it's going to pop open a view control box. Now, we have just loaded the particular program and up here will say view control loaded. Let's try a couple of these very quickly. As an example here, if I go up to my settings tool settings box, anytime I select one of these options, if there's a sub options there, it'll pop right in here. For instance, I can refresh one screen or I can say update all my views simultaneously. Uh, in this case here, we can fit the, draw, uh, the uh, drawing, center active depth or expand the clipping planes, depending. And again, it's going to adjust the screens accordingly. Here's a window area. With the window area, notice that I get a full cursor here. I touch my screen and notice that I get a box that represents, or a rectangle that represents the, a the aspect ratio of my view. So I know entirely what's going to fit in that particular window because again it will maintain the aspect ratio. In this case we have the zoom in. Again we, we can see the box that will zoom in. We can type in a number. In this case if we say zoom in four times you can see the box actually got much smaller. And again with the zoom out command similar, similar concepts where you have an aspect ratio that you can begin to use a four or a smaller value. Again, we'll fit the drawings real quick. In this case here, we have a rotate view. Now, we're on the isometric view. If I touch my screen, notice that you get a dashed cube to show you where you were. And if you move your cursor, you can see where you're going to be. So you can begin to rotate your 3D world a little bit easier without necessarily understanding what axis you're looking at. In this case, we're doing a pan command. Is there any question where this might go? Again, we are not moving the box, but we're actually panning the drawing. So you touch where you want to go from and where you want to be. And again, you select a second point. In this case here, we have a zoom, zoom center about a point. And again, we have an aspect ratio that will basically show you what it is that you want to zoom in. This tool here is for putting on a perspective, moving your cursor out. We'll turn a perspective on, moving your cursor back in. We'll turn off that perspective. And again, the dialog box will pop on the screen once you select this icon. And again, you can control different values. One option that might be of interest, again, is right now we're showing the cube display. But if you select Command, Select Dynamic Elements, we can go ahead and select this sphere. And under Dynamics, notice that cube display is turned, out, turned off. Now, when we rotate, instead of seeing the object, we're actually rotating the cube or the cylinder, or the sphere. And notice now that, uh, again, we can pick one object and know when once that object is correct, we're able to see a little better. Obviously, if we put the cube back on, it will allow us to spin this according to this particular cube. Again, brand new tools for us to use in MicroStation.